previously on Poppin' Two Tops. That's so funny. Guess it ain't no secret that Utah has low alcohol. Alcohol.
Kotosh 32. Yeah, that's white rim. Kept going. Yeah, I bet you they the tournament. They just kept going. So I should have Audi. Audi went that way. Well, I don't know what to say. Good for them. After a strenuous day of hiking Wilson's Arch, driving the Schaefer Switchbacks, which wasn't that bad, and driving Potash Road, which was, trying to find a campsite for free on BLM land, which did not pan out, we need a good stiff keto drink. So I have this Old Smoky Moonshine punch punch and sparkling ice fruit punch so i'm just gonna mix that up and hope we for actually best. ended up getting a pay campsite it's a blm campsite called williams bottoms is it williams i thought it said williams bottoms. williams bottoms twenty dollars but there's a pit toilet but it's right next to the road so it's not great but we're, great. we're tired of driving and just tired in very general. Very clean though. It's very clean. The pit toilet nice is very clean. Have a nice view. Right behind us is this huge wall of rock. People rock climb right here too. You didn't think this smelled like cough syrup? No. Kind of smells like cough syrup. <laughs> you said it was a stiff drink. It looks like cough syrup. Well, we'll see what it's all about here in a minute. I thought that was gonna blow up. <laughs> Elevation. I love that this is actually glass. It's pretty cool. I like those little moonshine things. All right, taste tester. Who knows Go what for concoction it. you have going on here? Oh, wait. Skull. Skull. Oh, not too bad. Doesn't taste like cough syrup. Tastes good. Thank God, because that would have just been It's very berryish. A sad ending to a day to have a cough syrup drink. Huh. I have some little uh little mice or uh <laughs> I mean I don't know. You uh -huh. See that little round hole? Yes, I hope There's it's definitely there. not desert mice. Oh my god, now I'm freaking out. Like a, a seven layer dip? Yeah, kinda. Of. So we are walking to the Delicate Arch viewpoint because there were so many people at the actual Delicate Arch trailhead that we couldn't even park. It looked like a rock concert. They have people parking a mile down the road. Just to go. Just to go. Yeah. Just to go to the trailhead to then hike three miles to see the Delicate Arch. Yes. <laughs> viewpoint. No or jack is access. stuff or just acting ridiculous just yeah just like but when you're being destructive yeah. in a national park yeah. and just acting like an ass I don't like when people act like an ass you Anywhere. know at a bar Anywhere. when they're drinking I don't right. like that and to give your daughter the knife to carve her initials right. into the wall of the canyon right. if every 
anyone did that. Yeah, I know. Oh, wow, you got up there. <laughs> like, could you just stop? Okay, where are we? We're at the uh, Moab Brewery House, Moab Brewery. And we're trying to, we're sampling a few. Okay, like so this one is? The Moab Especial. So like Dos Equis. It's not like a Dos Equis. This, this one? Bougie Johnny's. It's wine hybrid a beer. wine beer hybrid, yes. Okay. This is the uh, Rocket Bike Lager. And then we have the Dead Horse Amber. All right, so let's give it a try. What beer did you end up getting? I got a uh, Hazy IPA, Juicy Johnny. And it's good? It's pretty good, 5% alcohol. So what did you think about the Moab Brewery? Uh, it was okay. I mean, it's not as good it as It wasn't as good as Main Street Brewery, but no. it was okay. We had onion rings and some kind of jalapeno beer cheese fry stuff, which was pretty good. Yeah. Not keto, but still good. Good, good snack. And they have a brewed root beer there, <laughs> which is my, one of my favorite things, especially since I've had kids. This is what I drank when I had morning sickness. So it's one of my favorites. We are getting ready to head out of Moab and heading up north, going to the Mantilla South National Forest, which is east of Salt Lake. So we will be spending the night there. We have to go to the car wash and wash this. Oh my God, the mud from here is just so bad. We have to go take all this off before we head out. Got to get clean. Got to scrub a dub. Got us clean. We got to get the truck. That's right. Clean. We just got out of the shower. Took a shower at the Moab Recreational uh, Facility. Seven dollars for each for a shower. Which thank God because God nobody wants to see that hair the way it was looking earlier. <laughs> <laughs> 